Okay, we are going to continue with chapter 8, which is acids and bases. And we're going to now compare the strengths of the acids and bases. When an acid is placed in water, it ionizes, which means the hydrogen that's on it, this is the abbreviation for an acid, there's the hydrogen, A stands for acid, so the hydrogen in front of the acid. The hydrogen in front is added to the water and it produces what's called a hydronium ion, which is water, H2O, with a third hydrogen there because it got it from the acid. So if we're looking at HCl, it's produced the hydronium ion right there and then the Cl is left over. Now with a strong acid, that happens 100% of the time. You notice that this one-sided arrow, it only goes to the right. That means once this chlorine is missing that hydrogen, the chlorine has no desire to get that hydrogen back. In contrary, if you look at the weak acids, here's the hydronium ion, but HCO3 minus, here's H2CO3, got rid of one of those hydrogens, that really wants that hydrogen back, so it's going to try to take that hydrogen away from the H3, from the hydronium ion again. And that's why you have an arrow that's going to the left as well as one going to the right. Because it's going, it's removing the hydrogen, but it, then again it wants to get it back. So this is a strong conjugate base. because it wants to have that hydrogen back, whereas this is a weak conjugate base. So if we're looking at the acids, if we need a visual, here's the acid at the beginning. Most of the, most if not all of the hydrogens from that HA become H3O plus. There isn't very much at all, if any, acid at all on the right-hand side. That's because it happened 100% of the time. Here's a list of the strong acids. There's only six of them here. That's because there's very few truly strong acids that go 100% dissociation. Weak acids, however, have a very small concentration of that hydronium ion. That means most of the solution is still that original acid. All of this is acid, and here's our little hydronium and our acid without it, without that hydrogen. Most of the weak acid remains undissociated, it remains as a molecule, it doesn't break apart. All of these are weak acids. Notice how many more weak acids there are than strong acids. Now if it's a weak acid, that means it wants to have that hydrogen back, which means it's going to have a strong conjugate base. Slow to remove it, fast to get it back. Whereas the strong acids were happy to lose the hydrogen and they have no desire to get it back. So if we have, once again, if you are a visual person, look at all the positive and negatives we have in the HCl, which is a strong acid. If we compare that to acetic acid, we only have a few positive and, and negatives. Most of it is still intact. So we're going to compare the strong acids to one another in a little bit. Bases, however, if we're looking at the periodic table, if they're in the first two rows in their hydroxides, those are considered the strong bases. Once again, dissociates completely. That means it's breaking up into its ions 100% of the time. 
the strong ones come out of the first two rows. If it's any of the other ones, it's considered a weak. A weak base. So if we're looking at our chart, we have HBr. So is that a strong acid or a weak acid? We know it's an acid because it begins with an H. Well, here's our strong ones. Here's HBr. That's going to be that's going to be a strong acid. HNO2. Here's our hydrogen, so we know it's an acid, so we need to find HNO2. There's HNO3 that's not the same. HNO2 is right here. It's considered a weak acid. This one does not begin with hydrogen, which means it's a base. So if we look on our periodic table, we see that sodium is right here. It's in one of the first two rows. That means it's a strong base. H2SO4 starts with a hydrogen, which means it's an acid. Here's H2SO4. It's considered a strong acid. And then CuOH4, OH2. Once again, it does not begin with hydrogen, so that means it's a base. Copper is here on the periodic table. Remember, only the first two rows are the strong bases, so that means that's a weak base. And there's our answers once again. So if we're going to look at the differences in the strong or weak, so we're looking at HNO2 versus H2S. HNO2 are right, is right here. H2S is right here. NO2 is higher on the, peri on the chart, so that means it's a stronger acid. So that means this is a stronger acid. HCO3 minus versus HBr. HBr is right here. HCO3 minus is right there. HBr is the stronger acid. And then H3PO4 and H3O plus. H3PO4 is right here. H3O plus is right here. That means H3O plus is the stronger acid because it's higher on the chart. And here's our answers once again. That is an overview of the differences between strong and weak acids and bases.